Okay, you asked for it, you got it. Welcome to the biggest mistakes one can make on the UC application. So we're gonna start with simple to complicated. Let's go. So one of the thing is, what application are you applying for? We are doing fall. Wait, but quarter or semester, remember, Quarter is different than semester. All the UCs are quarter system except for the famous UC Berkeley. So let's click on 2021. One of the things that's important as you are filling out this information about you, make sure this has your legal name. Yeah, that beautiful name that's on the birth certificate that maybe you're in love with or maybe not. Why that's important? Well, if you're applying for financial aid or you got a scholarship, it got to be legit. So make sure that contact information is correct. Also, don't forget about your citizenship. It's really easy to make a big boo-boo. Like, what if you put no that you didn't attend a California high school? Oh, well, then you're looking at some out-of-state tuition that's like over 60000 So please, please do avoid that, right? Um, do also know that all this other information is it will be used like your background of your language, um, also your household size. This is mandatory this year for fall 2021 because this is how they're going to look at information such as fee waivers. Fee waivers are eligible for those who meet the income criteria. If you want to know about other ways to get a fee waiver, especially if you're in the Sabrino program at St. Ignatius, contact that wonderful college counselor. Also, don't forget to put your parent information. And one thing that students get stuck on is the occupation and the job title. Use this time with your family to find out what their job title is. Now, you're all applying for the fall 2021 as a freshman, and you're going to put down some UC campuses. Now, wait, you may think this is simple, but do you have a balance list? Do you have some challenge schools that are a little bit more challenging for admission? Berkeley, LA, Santa Barbara, shoot, is Irvine in that list too? It depends on your profile, right? Look at the scattergram on SCORE to help you. Do you have some possible schools like Santa Cruz, right? Or Davis, or some likely schools like UC Riverside, UC Merced. Each UC campus is amazing and each campus has some pluses and minuses. Just make sure it has a great vibe and make sure that you have a lot of options for you. Do know that each application is $70, but it is one application for all nine UC undergraduate programs. Now over here, you'll see that we're putting in majors. Now, sometimes campuses will go to alternate majors. Sometimes they won't look at that, like UC Berkeley says is point blank. They don't. UC Irvine doesn't um, either, right? Now, it's really important that you know which ones are impacted or not. That does make a difference. Also, do know that not all UCs offer nursing programs. Not all UC offer business. Sometimes people get confused because like UC Davis has business, but under the School of Agriculture. So they'll be a little bit different. Now, this is where most of the mistakes happen. So let's look here. So there is a possibility. There's not a mistake here. They do look at seventh and eighth grade courses. So did you take algebra one or higher in seventh and eighth grade? Did you take a world language other than English in seventh or eighth grade? If so, awesome. Put that information on here. If you overlooked it, all you have to do is click on edit. You could put down yes, right? I could put my course, right? So let's say it was algebra one, put down, it was a full year. Most of you guys would be full year. Did you take a language? Yes, right? So maybe your school didn't have it Spanish one or two, but maybe it was just Spanish, right? Was the term year, full year, course gallery, maybe it was second level, third, Astro's old middle school classmates. They're going through this application process just like you. Indicate the language again, just in case it's a unique course name. Most of you guys will say no to international school experience. Okay, so now this is another big one. Maybe a small minority of you guys will make some problems or decisions, but here we go, St. Ignatius, where here you need to put our school code 053010. Remember, our specialized curriculum is there is a required religious program. And then our grading system is A, B, C, D, F. 
Yes. And when did you attend? August 2017 to May 2021? Keep in mind, if you're a transfer student, this will look a little bit different. Also, here's where big mistakes happen. When did you take that summer school? So did you take summer school after ninth grade? After 10th, you've got to indicate that. Oops, did you forget? Don't click the delete button, click the edit button. Scroll down and it's a simple check that's over here. If you missed a grade, yes, they do look at 12th grade. If you don't put your 12th grade courses, um, you do need to take four years of English. You know that, right? So make sure that this is a place to edit it. If you do edit this after you enter your courses, guess what? Gotta re-enter all the courses again. We are a semester school. We only have a block bell schedule, but we are a semester grading system. Please put down that you are graduating. You'll get a high school diploma. Yes, it's May 2021. All right, but this is not the hard part. Now, remember, if you do attend another high school, please put that in there. But you can go, hey, I'm finished adding high schools. Now I'm going to put my courses. So here's the key thing. You're only going to put your A to G. You may, what? A to G? I would, if I were you, I would just Google UCOP A to G list right then you go into this wonderful website that both the uc and the csu system look at there goes saint ignatius there we go i'm going to look at my course list these are all the courses they're going to look at but the nice thing is that uc has done is that if you go on the application system so let's click on edit here look at this beautiful thing they're all on here and you're only going to put the semester grade now you may go, wait, this is honors. This is wrong. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to write down the course correct because that's a mistake. No, 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 no. You have to remember only junior level courses like Spanish three honors. Your chemistry class will get honors level course. Don't believe me? Well, re look at the A to G list right? English 303 gets the extra credit that I have the star, but these don't. If you try to change it, it may mess up your GPA and your profile. Remember, none of the UC systems, none of them plus the state schools will get your transcript. This is self-reported. Now, a lot of times students forget to print out your transcript, so feel free to ask your PAC or college counselors because maybe you took an eighth period course or maybe you just clicked on it like I just did with my mouse. Make sure here if you didn't get a grade one semester, you put it in there. Even if whatever you have a letter grade, you put that in there. Even though it may not be calculating GPA, there's a letter grade in your transcript, put that in. But remember, put it in the correct grade level. Also, introduction to ethnic studies is not up here in social studies. Yes, it's under social studies for SI, but for our A to G list, um, it is under prep electives. So that's where your introduction to ethnic studies would go. All right, we're going to save and continue. The only kids who are going to be really clicking, I don't see my courses, are those international or out-of-state students or people who don't have an A to G list. Now look how I did my summer school over here. For those of you who took chemistry um, over the summer, notice here, I just did summer after. So these are the words I'm indicating these letter grades. Okay, now I can easily jump around by clicking on the right-hand side. Now what are some common mistakes in 10th grade? Again, it's really these G courses. And don't forget, this is modern world history, not world history. Again, it has to be exactly what is on your transcript. I know, I know. Then why is it on here? I know. But please just put modern world history, okay? Thank you. Now, let's go look at 11th grade. What's the biggest mistakes here? Well, some of you guys may have taken regular U.S. history first quarter, but you were so awesome, they put you in honors. By the way, you kids are still incredible if you're still in regular too, okay? Everyone has their talents in different areas. But you remember, these courses are based on semester grades, not quarter grades. So make sure to be very careful. Remember, if you don't indicate a year of U.S. history of government, UCs are going to say, mm-mm-mm. 
Now I'm going to scroll down to the next big mistake. Have you figured it out? Have you? Well, let's see. Now, oh, is it that eighth period? Well, we mentioned that already. No, it's the ethics class, not the intro to ethnic studies, but foundations of ethics. A lot of times we are looking for the E. The true title is Foundations of Ethnic Morality and Justice. It's your first religion class at SI that's on the A to G list. So please click on that. If you took a PE, do not put I don't see my courses because most PE classes don't count. Notice the word I said is most. So let's save and continue and let's look at Oh, wow. The big whammy, the big mistakes, the 12th grade. Here, take your time. And remember, your college counselors are here to help you. Now, if you took a year long of AP English literature, it's going to be in progress and planned. You don't have grades yet. Remember, they only look at semester grades. Some of you may be taking like English 482. If you're not taking the fall put, no. And if you are in a spring, put PL, okay? So again, this is going to be very similar to all the other areas that you're going to write. Now, as I scroll down here, notice I'm putting my languages, I'm putting what subject, I'm putting my other visual performer. Oh, here's that other mistake that happens not only in 12th grade, but also 10th grade. A lot of you guys maybe took Dance 1A, a Music Appreciation A, but you're like, wait, I can't write it. It's only 1A and 1B. Well, you don't believe me? Well, let's go look at edit and I'll show you. Yeah, you're right. It only does say 1A and 1B because when we submitted the A to G list many, many moons ago, that's how it was entered. But guess what? The UC and the state systems know that. You just have to indicate it's okay. So you're saying, well, wait a minute. Doesn't this look like I'm taking dance 1A? Well, remember in 10th grade, we already put the 1A already. So they'll know that you had to do 1B because you passed it so successfully. You go, dancer. All right. So just make sure that you don't rewrite it. The, 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 the college admission reader will make sense which one's A, 1A, 1B. The other thing is you may be enrolled in sacred symbols. Guess what? The actual title is Studio Art C. You're like, what? That doesn't make sense. All right, I'll prove myself. Wow, I'm making sense. So Studio Art C, if I click on any courses here, oh my gosh, am I right? There are other transcript abbreviations on here. This is also another great way for you. Like if I'm a major dancer, watch out flash dance. Most of you guys I know don't know what I'm talking about. Look here, dance workshop, intermediate dance workshop. So if any of these titles are on your transcript, guess what? A to G, U, C, C, S, U, they're going to be able to put that on your application awesome news. Now, other big mistakes. A lot of people don't realize all these other college prep elective courses that are on the A to G list. Behavioral neuroscience is under electives, not social science. There is a difference between regular and honors. Economics is also an elective. Engineering. Now, if engineering is a full year, IPPL, but if I just take um, economics just for one semester, Remember, just put no on here and notice how it automatically did IPPL, right? It's only one semester class. Environmental Science, Espanol Mardeno, here's that different computer science. <gasps> did Are you an SITV? Did your moderator put your name that you're taking this film editing in production class? Make sure. If it's not on your transcript, let them know and find out, is it a full year or just semester? Make sure. Also, what are some other new classes? Oh, there is a PE class that counts. So are you an introduction to sports medicine? Maybe you're taking this fall, then put IP and then no here. If you don't believe senior grades don't count, they do. Remember, they can always withdraw your application if your senior year is not successful for any college. Oh, look here, journalism. Did you do that great article on Inside SI? Again, ask your moderator. 
that they give your name to the academic office and check PowerSchool. Don't put this in unless you see it in black and white. Also, Religious Studies 447 also counts. It's the uh, second uh, Religious Studies class that counts. There are more. I'll show you robotics, science research, social movements down here. Again, yearbook. If you're on yearbook, check with your moderator. Are you in for the full year, just one semester? Check with the academic office. How? Check on your power school. Now, I did mention to you there's more than just foundations of ethics, religious studies, right? Guess what? But it's not in the elective ske schedule. You're like, oh, it must be visual arts. Like, so you're saying, no, let's scroll up. Don't mean to get you dizzy. But here, under the section English, look, 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 it's coming. Telling stories, faith, film, and fiction. It's on here and it counts. So only put the courses here that count. Now, this is not for all of you guys. Some of you guys have also taken. Uh, so make sure you press save and continue to save it. I tried to do a shortcut. Oops, that's not the way it works. Maybe took some college courses. For those of you who may took a community college course, please make sure to put the school, the uh, months that you took it, and then what grade levels. Now, again, you don't need to uh, send a transcript, but you have to record it correctly. I'm not just going to write public speaking. I'm going to put the COM 110. This is all clear on your transcript. Did you put that transcript to the academic office? Does your college counselor know about it? You better send an email now if you're just listening to this. Um, and then if you have questions about the subject area, I'll be honest, this gets a little bit confusing for everyone. Just let your college counselor know and they could quickly guide you for those who are out of that area. Now let's look at additional information. We don't put any information here. It's for public school students. So good, you could skip. Also, I did notice here you can copy this information. Why? Because guess what? Your school does require you to take four years religious studies and many are not on the A to G list, right? So since I'm not, so since you're only signed up for six courses per uh, semester, this prevented you from taking more A to G courses. Now, these other statements may not apply to you, but you could let them know. Maybe you want to take an honors class. There was a schedule conflict or you didn't meet the requirements, right? Maybe you had to take a PE class your senior year. It looks like you're taking an easier load. Any unusual scheduling issues you want to put in here. Just state the facts. This is not an essay. It's just an FYI. Okay, now they're going to review this information, so just make sure to review as we're listening to all this soundtrack in the background that needs to be turned off. That's another mistake that we need to make sure. So sorry for that as I'm recording this, you know, that's another mistake, but that's more if you have like an interview or something like that. Okay, so let's keep going here. So this is pretty much most of the biggest mistakes, but this is where most of the mistakes happen on the application. It's all this information here. Okay, but uh, don't forget test scores are some a thing of the past, right? For a lot of UCs, you do not have to submit your scores. You're happy to go and use that. Do know that there are some UCs that won't um, uh, are going to be test free. So as you so that is constantly changing. But one thing you do have a lot of control of is here the activities and wards. Please make sure to take advantage of this. You have up to 20 different things to describe, right? Now, this is not just a list, right? They're asking you some information about it, right? So you have up to a few, a, a lot of characters that you could write, right? This is a family run business, that's one local store. So to have the reader be able to picture to see what you're doing, help them know what your responsibilities are. What did you do for your job? So a lot of times students just quickly list this stuff and not really apply themselves to help the reader understand. This is not like, this is also includes family responsibilities and other stuff. Also do take advantage of the scholarship opportunities. We've had, had a lot of our students uh, take advantage of scholarships. And guess what? Your application is a scholarship, but do know at the very end, they do give you a link um, in here where you get more scholarship information for specific schools as well. 
Now for personal statements, the main thing is don't uh, just copy and paste on there. You need to start working on this a lot. It's four out of the eight questions here talking about your talents. There's not one that's better than the other. It's basically answering the one that makes you amazing. Show, give them that wow factor. If there's any other additional information that you did not did not already express already, you could indicate that family circumstances, something that's unclear at the application, right? Talking about your impact of first gen. But if I already talked about being first gen earlier, I don't need to talk about it again. Okay. So this doesn't have to be um, about only unusual or only family. Remember, it's anything that can that may be unclear in other parts of the application. Review and submit it. Make sure that you do it by the deadline. That's right, the deadline, November 30th. Okay, hope this video helped. Take care. Make sure you connect with your college counselor and have an amazing day. Thanks, everyone.